Join us in this week's episode as the Baroness von Nickel continues her selection from the eight remaining contestants. They've come from across the globe to battle for the prestigious head winemaker's position. This week saw the contestants competing head-to-head -head in various challenges to show off their talents in the cellar. I understand it's been a trying year for you this year, having to uh, let go of your previous winemaker. Can you tell us why, um, why that was and why we're here today? Good girl. Mommy's talking. Well, our former winemaker, Tuco Reynolds, became involved in the Blue Sky Ice Wine Cartel last year. And I had to let her go. We've got a great group of uh, candidates for you, Baroness, uh, <coughs> vying to be your new winemaker. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the candidates and uh, who's showing some <coughs> promise? This week, the candidates have really shown some interesting techniques down in the cellar. For example, Brody has shown that there are new and truly interesting ways of getting that really smoky, earthy character into his wines. Jean-Francois has also shown a great deal of promise. Uh, this is my, my dog. His name is Petit Verdot, and he is very well trained. He only barks at bitches in heat. The French have always shown a real passion for wine. Well, Petit, I think I have chosen my wine. That rotund little vine, one in from the post. I will make mad, passionate love to that vine tonight, and it will send a message to the rest. Yes, we will have some time tonight, you and I. He truly seems to live and breathe winemaking. Breathe and live. Augustina also has shown a great deal of promise, especially in the blind tank sampling, although I'm not Entirely sure she understood the exercise. Ooh, 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 ooh. Baroness, do you think you know who you will be handing the rosé to in this evening's rosé ceremony? Well, it has been a very difficult decision. I could see a number of these winemakers with a future in my winery. Wonderful. Good evening, candidates. It has been an incredibly stressful week, but there are only three remaining glasses of rosé. This means one of you will be going home. As for the rest of you, There are only three remaining rosés. That means one of you will be leaving immediately. Let's bring in Vanna and the Baroness. Winemakers, good evening. This has been a very, very difficult decision. But this is about the future of my winery. Letizia, you truly have seemed to capture the essence of Italian wine flavors. Isa Horsi will give us a flavor of Italy. Now you swim with the fishes. <laughs> Letizia, will you accept this glass of rosé? Dieter. Yeah, it's pronounced Dieter. Yes. So this week you have proven yourself to have some truly eccentric methods. Yeah, sure. Ach du lieber Gott in Himmel! 
who has stacked these barrels that are completely out of line? Ay, 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 ay. Oh, hello. I am Dieter. I am the German winemaker, and I think I would be the most obvious choice. Mm -hmm. But with you at the helm of my winery, I have no doubts that things would be very well organized. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, das ist, das ist. Dieter, will you accept this rosé? Yeah, sure, of course. Dieter, herzlichen Glückwunsch. Oh, danke, danke. Yeah, sure. Heil. Heil, Baroness. Heil. Corey, Susie Funk. There is only one glass of rosé left. Corey, this week you've shown some exceptional skills in the laboratory. Maybe a little bit of mano protein, some Inoli's MP. Susie Funk, this week you've shown us certain spunk. There is really only one choice. Susie Funk, will you accept this rosé? What? What the fuck? I am the only winemaker here. You are crazy. You're going to make yellow Or Saskatoon berry Keep going. It's funny. You are done. Absolutely done. Wow, what an episode. Wait till you see the next seven to come as we go through and find out who will be the winemaker. <laughs> <laughs>